How are you doing and how have you been? My name's Sazastico. Let's get to it. A lot of things to talk about today. More importantly, we have no dryads or more importantly, we only have 11, which is not, not great. We're going to complete research uh, tomorrow morning, which is then going to allow us to make Yayo a flake. We're probably going to make Yayo in all honesty. Need to go to... I wish people would just do stuff. I wish people would just know what I want to do before I do it. Uh, let's do no medical care on any of these. I don't even want herbal medicine. We've only got one. We've sort of... Been a bit rubbish with that. Can someone help this dryad? I'm just going to slaughter it. It's got a broken spine and whatnot. But yeah, then hopefully we can get back to this. Because 11 dryads or 10 without regarding that one. It's not great. We're going to get another uh, lifter today, which is going to be huge. And I would like to try and push towards getting some clothing to get rid of all the tattered apparel. Not that it's affecting moods too much, but obviously on the back of attack and an attack, it's not going to be great for us. So sort of where we're thinking there. So the refining is done. That's awesome. I'm going to queue up some deconstruction now. So then hopefully we can get this wall up. Because when our outer wall is up, that's going to be good news for us. Because our defense is pretty much going to be up as much as it can. Right, get the other lifter up there. That would be huge for us. And then we've got a case of we've got one more mech currently that we can pick with having. Um, we do need to make sure we keep converting Yates. Because I just... I'm always going to forget... is going to make life easier for us when that happens. Ambrosia Sprout, that is absolutely fine. I'm a bit nervous on about defences and stuff like that, but one problem at a time, I guess. Exotic's good trader, that is actually helpful. Oh, come on, they move so slow. Got a little coffee, a little, little treat for myself. We have a lot of um, psychodoid that leaves. It's not going to leave us much room for error. <laughs> but no. But then we're going to do do until and we're going to make sure we have as much of this as humanly possible. And then I pretty much just want this always full in all honesty. To just always be making it because then it just means we can always buy stuff. Our wealth of our colony is going to go up. Massively. We're going to have to sort of judge it as it is. A lot of it is just going to be how much the dryads can do for us. Which I'm not sure they can do what we think. Um, nothing really. I mean, I could... Take your advanced components just for the sake of it. Actually, it's probably better taking some Glitter World Medicine. It's not sexy. So I'll take I'll take all their advanced components and their Glitter World. The Glitter World at least gives me an opportunity to save people from infest, infections. Um, if they come, otherwise we ain't got the medicine to be able to even do that. Deconstructing that wall so hopefully we can get the rest of our outer, outer wall up. Once that happens, that's going to be big for us because we can actually start rearranging everything in here, which I'm looking forward to. much more to get up. Last mech is going to be what? A slaver, another caravan. It's a nice little buffer if something comes at me, but... No 
Okay. They all join as slaves. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll take some of your herbal medicine. Eight herbal medicine. Nice. Wait, did I? No, I did buy it. I panicked then. I was like, don't tell me I sold like my only eight herbal medicine. No, I'm not that useless. I'm useless, but just not that useless. The thing is, I suppose it's not only the drugs that's going to matter. I don't know why I just overdosed. On what? Yeah, yeah. Oh. It's, it's probably too much yayo. Yeah, yeah. It's probably just a little bit too much yayo. Yeah, yeah. Um, scheduled yayo yeah, yeah. every seven days. Only if mood is below 30%. Can you not just, like, we've just got Yayo into the colony and you've literally overdosed straight away on it. Like, it's good stuff, but. Can I sell this to them or not? Just while you're here. No. But it's nice to know Yayo's already being made, which is perfect. So then next time, smoke leaf, we can reduce that massively because then we'll just literally smoke our own supply. We won't worry about uh, making it or anything like that. That's getting deconstructed. Our outer wall is about to go up. I think we might actually try it where we just keep it closed all the time. Now, what that's going to do is it is going to lead the game to attack us in a certain specific way. Because it's always going... We're always going to be hit with... Um, did someone slaughter this animal? Royal Tribute Collector, we're getting everything. Is it because it's too hot outside? Rejected proposal. Just want to slaughter it because its spine is going to do my head on. Just gonna lay there forever. Brilliant. Just need like one more block. That's the case. Let's deconstruct it, boys and girls. Let's actually start planning our forever base. We are going to deconstruct all the walls. This might be the only defense that we actually don't mind just like running straight at the other person. Do you know what I am saying? So deconstruct that. That means that can get built, hopefully. Nice. And then we can start to actually restructure everything here. Exciting times. Just need to make sure, obviously, these dryads are being... Don't know what to do with this one here, though. It's got his spine shattered. Great healing pod. I don't know which tree this is part of. I wish it would tell me. You know, I know how a, a really awkward way. Yeah, deconstruct all the walls. Stop worrying about what I'm doing. 
is I need to make a healing bed. There. Right. Then deconstruct all those. Then rescue. Then see if it will create a healing pod there. Smith. Yeah, just slaughter it. I know we're going to get told off for that, but it's just like that is painful. I know there's probably a better way to do that, but I'll be honest. Life is short and I can't be bothered. Right, we're cooking now. Okay, I'm a bit excited now because we can actually get the forever base that we want. That we deserve. But it's just the case of getting more dryads up. We've got 11 with two on the way. But now we've got that sorted, we know one on plant cutting and then anything else on, you know, anything else actually works quite nicely so that's the way to do that so i'm happy with that and then we do get a load of blocks back from all that prefer to make the majority of the base out of sandstone blocks but i don't know how many of them we're actually going to have about And, uh, like, rooms being outside doesn't actually impact us, mo like, like negative, so we could leave stuff outside. The, my only thinking is, like, just for defense, for when stuff drops in on us, it's just, like, just having everything on the, all my expensive stuff out in the open is just, like, asking for trouble, really. So we have to be careful. As I slurpity slurp my coffee, my bad. Yeah, I can see more um, dryads are starting to grow. Oh, we're back to 11. We're going to go 12, 13, 14. Okay, okay. So, I would rather learn the lesson there in the, that short little period between the last episode and this episode where we're not going to get punished. So, that's not too bad. Um, no place to haul the... Buildings can go in there. Uh, I will deconstruct these two. Right, blocks are coming in, which is handy. I suppose we could get the first room up now and actually then today's already a success. I'm assuming, I'm hoping we can just do this. Reinstall this. That's got 500 health if someone wants to try and push in here. It's going to be a very hot room. But then if we build the freezer on it... I mean, do we need to worry about that too much? I don't know. One problem at a time, I guess.
Do we want three constructors? So at the moment we can get one more mech. I'm thinking lifter. One cleaner is fine. One cleaner on its own is absolutely fine. It can do the work. Do we want another constructor as the... I mean, it is handy, isn't it? So, Smith. Let's get another constructor up. I am thinking of grower, but... As if they're eating on my... Is a grower the right option? I think a constructor. Let's do constructor. Do we not have any steel in our base? That's a problem. Then we got three constructors doing everything that we need to do. Build a roof over that. To be fair, for the time being, for the time being, we can reinstall all these buildings in here just to create a little bit of room if nothing else. Oh, we can even, I didn't realize we could reinstall those. Remember, because we're blind, we don't need light. I know some people do, but we'll start blinding people. Shortly. There we go. Right, there we go. So then we've made... Oh, there's even the art bench. Chuck that there. Chuck one of the statues in there as well, I guess. And then we can move that bed to there. So then we can start growing in here again to make this room a little bit more beautiful. And then we can get back to growing in here, which is going to be lovely. We know what we're doing. And we probably need to get a floor in here. Did we ever research carpet making? We didn't. Uh, let's go back to plate armor. We do need to get to flak armor, clips. But we can start actually doing what we need to do now so this is exciting uh let's reinstall we can actually make stuff look a little bit better than what it has been as well which is nice so shrink that expand that there we go all right there we go to be fair i should probably shrink that Okay, there we go. We're making moves, party people. We've actually got a workshop. It counts as indoors. That's nice. Means then we can sort that room out a little bit more. We do need to be making more sculptures, but whenever it happens, it happens. It's cooking still getting done. Cooking is getting low now, so... Probably have to do that. That's fine. Okay. I feel good. Right, we don't want to go too crazy too quick. But I feel like that's a good start. 11 dryads. 12, 13, 14 on the way. Got five, de five days left on that. That will be... Okay, okay. Not too bad. 
And then it's going to be more important to freeze a dining room here. Then we're going to have a, probably a little bit more scattered space as normal than normal, which is fine, I guess. But I like the idea of this being quite central. This is a very important building, really. So even if I just have that as, like, the, the warehouse... I really want to just kill all these, just because they're eating our stuff, but... I don't really want to accept anyone that's going to be bringing in a threat or anything. Um, I suppose the other thing I could be doing at the moment is copy that setting. Alright, grab that. Chunks, steel slag chunks there. Expand this. And then machining table, shred mechanoid. We're also going to pause. This is not the... Smelter delta, don't I? Think about using the smelter delta, then smelting the steel slag chunks. Get the smelter delta up. Excuse me. My throat made a noise I've never heard it make before. Mare self-tamed. Okay, we've got four on the way. Okay. Right, definitely a big move into the right direction. This episode will be the end. We haven't got enough meals up. Are these coming? The corn plants are... Um, doesn't work not having one on grow, does it? So I suppose the next priority, let's go one on grow so we can get these crops up. Let's just draft and undraft to reset them. Let's get all the crops up, otherwise we're not going to have enough food for the winter. Uh, mad alpacas. Seeing if anyone is actually outside then. Right, Max, safe colonists. There we go. Right, and then we don't have to go outside and fight the mad animals, which is obviously beautiful. But yeah, we need to get the crops up, because it's at the 11th. So three more days, and then all the crops die, pretty much. Mm, we might just amount about have enough food. Are you going to wake that cluster up? Yup. Does mean the mad animals will go onto the cluster though, hopefully. The cluster just defeated itself! Like, is that a win? Yes, this is a problem though. They're very injured. They're very injured, so let's just see what happens here. Mm, there's only like three mad animals. We are going to have to tackle this, aren't we? Right, jumping into melee with it is perfect. They're just going to hit a wall now. Yeah. Right, they're going to kill our mad animals for us, which I do thank them for. Then what are they going to do? They're just hitting walls. So let's... 
Prince. Get that steel mace. Smith, I've just seen the heavy SMG. Go grab that. Then draft everyone. I need to watch that. S oh, they're in, they're in, they're in, they're in, they're in, they're in, they're in. They're in. Attack. I just have to jump onto them on melee as quickly as possible. Oh, Mon got headshotted. Right, it's in melee. Our two melee people come outside just to sp um, spread the space. Get it into melee with that. That centipede's coming round, so we do need to be careful. Uh, you two come round here. Smith, get closer. You two get closer. You two come with me. Mon, I will give you decent meds when you have to go heal. Who's got hypothermia? The kid. Ugh, just build another heater just to get the kid up. Right, the two melee need to come over here. Let Sky come over here. How is that not? You're in melee. Stop shooting. Thank you. Uh, undraft Mongo here. They should have that sorted. Uh, Prince come over here to let the other dryad in. Nice. Sky come over here to let that dryad in, hopefully. Yeah, nice. Nice. Good work. So, we know we can fight. Then area one. That is so cool, man. And then that's all sorted. Unrestrict. Unrestrict. And then that problem is sorted for us. Allow. Got a little bit lucky there, but... You gotta be in it to win it. And oh boy are we in it. And oh boy are we winning it. Right, so we need to get obviously that built up very nicely. Yeah, built straight away. Nice, nice, nice. Get another heater in there just to get the kid up. And then all the corns coming out. Okay. That's cool. That leaves us next episode. We can actually start rearranging stuff. You're going to be so proud of your boy. I'm coming in hard. I'm coming in hot off the press. We're going to do this. I've got a bit of faith now. We're going to do this. And this is why we've got the doors everywhere. So then when this happens, we might need um, double thickness. But then when they're hitting our walls, we can come out and engage like that. And just totally overwhelm them. The only problem is, is we have to engage them on our terms. So we probably are going to want another layer of this wall. But it's something to be excited for. Mon, did you get healed? Yes. Turn the heat up. Problem is, I need to make the clothes. Just watching the hypothermia percentage. I'll just build another heater. I've got the resources. It is a bit of a waste, but I can always just uninstall them and then reinstall them as I need. Not that we've got the clothes. Oh, we have actually got the clothes right there. This is the only thing I, I I wish I could just right click. Put clothes on the... Do you know what I mean? It's fine. It's fine. It's Out of all the things I moan about RimWorld, it's hardly the worst, I guess. Right. We just need to get the rest of this up and then we're going to go back to normality. Very strong episode though. Really happy with what we achieved today, I have to admit. If you got this part of the video, leave a like, leave a sub, leave a comment. And I'll catch you next time, party people.
Bye.